Hello again, it's me and me, you know, it's Joy. It's Joy Ruffin coming to you from the Sunshine State. And the Sunshine State is Florida. Back with you again. And my friend, you know, it's always food for thought with me. And so today it's all about finding balance in life. Who does not want to have balance in their lives? So how do you go about finding balance in your life? The elementary basic steps are the same, and yet it will be different somewhat for each and every one of us, depending on our personality, our makeup, and so on. But in order to find balance in your life, you start off by getting to know who you are, understanding you are, who you are, and how you operate, what motivates you, what inspires you, so that you can find out what works best to support you in finding balance in your life. For some people, it's meditation. They're able to sit, to meditate, and to still themselves, and then to move forward. For other, it's some type of physical activity where they're able to expend energies and be able to still within themselves a quietness that will give them the balance that they need to move forward. It's different for everyone, as is everything in life. But when you're about finding balance in your life, the first thing you want to do is find out what gets you going, what motivates you, what inspires you. How are you able to get excited and thrilled and absolutely beyond whatever it is that you're about and around? And when you need to have stillness and quiet in your life, how are you best able to find that? And one of the best ways, really, is by meditating. But meditating isn't for everyone. It took me forever to get, I would say, using the expression, to get the hang of meditating. But once you do, it might be a wonderful way to find balance in your life. So first off, understand who you are, what your personality makeup is, and then find a way to get balance in your life because there is no life without balance because life is up and down and yet you want to find a mean that you can operate from that gives you the best advantage in life. A lot of words, but I think it makes sense. So my friend, until the next time, please be well. Take care of yourself first and then each other and know that I will be back with you again soon. Until then, be well and take care of yourself first and then each other. Bye-bye for now. Cheers.